battle of AI chips is getting pretty, pretty fierce. Today, what I want to do is take a closer look at NVIDIA and AMD. More importantly, AMD, when they released their MI300 earlier this month, um, it really caught the attention of many, many investors, causing the overall stock price to jump up dramatically. We can see year to date, the stock is up over 117%. Well, during their presentation, AMD showcased how their MI300 does so much better than the H100 in various solutions well nvidia wasn't too happy about that and decided to kind of release some new performance benchmark and showcase that hey look maybe nvidia is still the top dog here but then we have amd responding to that again so i want to cover all that plus some more amd and nvidia news so let's take a closer look in today's episode i want to thank the motley fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now with that link you get a promotional offer for the subscription service now let's continue with today's episode now amt recently released their data center ai gpu solution the mi300x and the launch date was recently here on december 6 of 2023 so right now ai is king right the ai market continues to grow and everybody wants to get a piece of this pie especially since uh, nvidia with their h100 is pretty much dominating the market um, this is a market that amd believes is expected to grow to roughly 400 billion dollars in the next three to four years uh, so we can see this is definitely a huge huge place well here we can see from the slideshow that we looked at on december 6 during the amd event that mi300 um, is the best gpu they say for inference performance solutions here we can see the mi300 versus the h100 here we can see some other inference performance leadership here we're looking at single servers versus which includes eight times gpus of the h100 and the mi300 and we can see these are through very big models model size with over a uh, huge amount of billions of parameters and that's where mi300 x really really benefits especially thanks to the amount of of kind of memory it comes in with i believe it's closer to 192 gigs of memory opposed to maybe yep, 192 gigs uh, of memory opposed to the h100 which is way below that but on december 14th nvidia was like hey look you guys are not gonna disrespect me like that i'm gonna show you what it really is so they achieved top inference performance with the nvidia h100 tensor core gpu and nvidia tensor rt large language model and one thing we are going to see is a lot of these more with the inferencing side and that's where amd really does have that benefit in the inferencing not in kind of the training um not in other places but this is the battle that a lot of people are batting are, are battling out right now and they do mention that nvidia released an open source software called nvidia tensor rt llm which includes optimization solutions for the h100 and these optimizations enable models models like the llama 2 70 billion a parameter to execute using accelerated fpa operations on h100 gpus while maintaining inference accuracy and this is very important one thing we're going to see there is there's fpa 8s and there's fp 16s and these are floating points and usually you use floating point 16 when you want better accuracy right because you have more bits to kind of create better accuracy here a nvidia is saying that because of their software optimization you can actually use floating point eight so it's in theory it's less bits faster to run usually you trade off with accuracy but here nvidia is mentioning that you still maintain inferencing accuracy using fp8 they also do talk about amd at a recent launch event amd talked about inferencing performance of the h100 gpu compared to that of the mi300x the results share did not use optimized software and the h100 if benchmarked properly is two times faster they do mention that ai is moving fast and their cuda ecosystem and the software solutions continue to move forward and obviously continue to grow ai performance on every update uh so here a and video was like hey look chess checkmate is that game over or whatever whatever you guys can correct me over so amt decided to respond but before we take a closer look at amt's response if you are enjoying the episode so far make sure to hit the thumbs up make sure to hit the subscribe button i'm trying to hit thirty thousand by the end of the year let's see if we can do this i also do have exclusive membership programs for the semiconductor market make sure to click join to learn more special offer at fool.com slash jose and special newsletter at jose so amt decided to respond that they do 
mention that NVIDIA's benchmark is a little bit different than AMD's. The biggest difference is NVIDIA decided to use the Tensor RT LLM, which is their optimized software. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I mean, if you have an optimized solution that's open source, it should definitely be plugged in. The second thing is that AMD is, is being compared with FP16 data type versus an NVIDIA, which is using FP8. I kind of mentioned the reason why. And then they mentioned that they inverted the AMD published performance data from relative latency numbers to absolute throughput. So that one might be a little bit interesting, but over here, it does seem like both these players are, are playing the numbers game, right? Any charts, you can make them look any special type of way. So AMD actually redid their test and they did their, they optimized obviously their uh, MI300 a little bit more. So first they ran, they, they ran three tests. The first one is the MI300 and the H100, both using VLLM, right? So this is the same solution, not optimizing the H100. And here we can see that MI300X is roughly 2.1 times faster on inferencing on Llama 2. Now, if they use the MI300X using um, an H100 with Tensor RT, now this is NVIDIA's optimized solution. They are still ahead by roughly 1.3x. So they're saying, hey, look, even if we make it faster, uh, even if we give you your optimized solutions, we're still faster here. And the third one is using latency results for MI300X using floating point 16 versus H100 using floating point 8. And here it's only about uh, uh, 0.1 second faster, but the MI300 is still better here than the H100. Uh, so, I mean, AMD is actually doing pretty well here. Um, it, it, it's definitely, I think, getting noise across and it's definitely showcasing that it is the leader here in the inferencing market. Now the real question is, is the inferencing market the only one that they can really kind of play ball game? In the AI workload solutions, there's numerous other solutions. The other thing I do want to mention, and I, 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 I just want to be fair, like I mentioned, I'm both an AMT and NVIDIA shareholder, so I gained from both of them gaining. Um, but we can see that NVIDIA does have the H200 coming out later this in 2024, in the second quarter of 2024 to be exact. And the H200 actually comes with a lot more memory. It has roughly 141 gigs of memory. So they do say these kind of comparisons are going to get a lot closer to each other, especially in the inferencing side. I mean, if we take a closer look at that chart from AMT, the numbers are, especially here in inferencing, when you're using the optimized solutions of both both players it's almost negligible so if you are increasing the bandwidth and the memory solutions of the h200 versus the h100 you should expect that the h200 be faster than the mi300 and like i mentioned the h200 is expected to come out in the second quarter of 2024 so there's a lot of drama going on there with the ai market but we do know that this is a hundred billion dollar market that everybody's trying to get the pie in and i do believe or, or trying to get a piece of the pie of um and i do believe believe that AMD actually is playing it pretty smart with really focusing in the inferencing side. I want to say NVIDIA kind of fell into their trap to some extent by kind of giving even more public publicity to this and then kind of backfiring with the kind of new update that AMD did. So obviously AMD is doing well and the stock price has performed pretty, pretty amazing. Now we do have some other updates coming in for NVIDIA and AMD. With NVIDIA, we do have Microsoft pivoting from the H100 to the B100 GPUs in 20. 2024. For those that are not familiar, NVIDIA is expected to release new solutions here in the in the uh, AI market. In 2023, had the H100. In 2024, it's releasing the H200 in the second quarter. And I do believe in the second half of 2024, so a year from now, it's going to release the B100. And it does seem like they already have some massive orders from Microsoft in that space. The other thing I want to take a closer look at is NVIDIA, their RTX 4 4090, which is their top of the line consumer GPU. Um, I just want to kind of showcase what I'm seeing in the market and just share my overall thoughts. 
about three, four weeks ago, I was building my own AI computer for home. Um, and I was able to purchase a 4090 or, or if I wanted to, I didn't purchase, I got a 4080 instead uh, because I don't have money like that. But the 4090, I was able to purchase if I want it for roughly $1,800. Now price points is half skyrocket. We can see the cheapest right now is $2,200. Uh, and I do believe there's many ca cases here. Um, one of the first case is that NVIDIA is seeing a strong strength in the a RTX 4090 um, due to gamers, due to content creators, due to AI hobbyists, due to AI startups as well, creating workstations with the, a with the 4090. The other thing that I do believe could be happening is the RTX 4090 uses the GPU, the AD102 chipset. And the AD102, and I've talked about this in numerous videos, um, is the same that's used on the L40, on the L40S. So the other thing is NVIDIA could be actually focusing on these markets instead as the data centers and workstations tend to have higher margins in respect. Uh, the other thing I do want to talk a closer look at is just price targets. We did see some nice price targets from AMD on Friday. Um, Bank of America analysts did increase AMD from a neutral to a buy with the $165 price point. I do believe that's why we're seeing strong advancements here in AMD. With NVIDIA, NVIDIA, one of the biggest things that came out about a day ago or two days ago is NVIDIA is actually the cheapest AI play out there based on top bursting analyst says. Um, and this is based on forward PE ratios. We can see based on forward PE ratios, NVIDIA's forward one year is 24.8. I mean, this is cheaper than Apple, Microsoft, AMD, Amazon, and some of the other big players out there. Uh, so we can definitely see that AM NVIDIA is sitting at some impressive levels and nothing too, too crazy if we do believe that the guidance and they're going to get those revenue and earnings per share numbers. That's the real thing. Are they going to be able to get it or is the market going to shift completely? So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Take care. Have a good day and see you next time.